Hi guys, I can't see if anyone's actually joining, so this is a bit of a pain. I can't work out the comments on it, so. Um, we shall see. I'll give it a minute or so and see if any. <laughs> see if anyone joins. Right, okay, I'm going to make a start anyway. Um, as you can see, we've actually got some blue sky and there's a funny yellow thing up there somewhere. I haven't seen that for a couple of weeks, so it's a bit warm. Right, let's just turn the camera around. Okay, so quick, mainly the Kang Star, Star Kiss, you know, the Grow in the Kang competition one. Just have a do that, but quick run through the greenhouse. Okay. As you can see the gherkins have gone from the last time so they've all finished we had about 40 jars of gherkins pickled off it so they've been enough for us this year so now i've just had a chance to spread things out a little bit more get rid of a few plants that are finished and then we'll have a go so first off we've got body snatcher but these are um ghostly white so i'm hoping that i'll get a few more on this there isn't as many as the original body snatcher in the other greenhouse uh, getting some nice pods on this. Okay. Um, peach habanero. You can see getting some nice ripe pods. There's a few runts that I'm going to take off. Leave the rest of the pods on there. So there's some nice pods forming all the way up. Kind of hoping for an Indian summer that we end up with lots of um, September sunshine so these ones can all turn as well. But let's say getting a few and getting a few of a good size. So yeah. Right. Seven pot yellow is the next one, and again, getting a few nice sized pods on this again, so just not very many of them, which is a bit of a disappointment. Huge, great plant, but there's loads of flowers, so I'm kind of hoping that we do get a warm autumn so we can keep going with this. Okay, just a quick one sweet peppers. So Looking nice. Um, <laughs> I'll move around without falling over. A um, few jalapenos that are left. It's, we've had three batches off these plants, so this is good. Some more sweet peppers here. Okay, all starting to turn, which is nice. We've um, had a bit of a mouse problem in here, so eating loads and loads of pods has Stephen will help. So, mouse trap. Lovely. Okay. Sorry, a bit tight in here, so I'm just sort of a bit tight for a fat guy anyway. Right, um, this one is Nepali snake bite, this one is called. So it's supposed to be mild, medium kind of thing, according to Simpson Seeds. But it's really prolific, and um, I'm going to try candying these ones. I don't know if you saw a post I did earlier on where I was going to attempt to do some candying, so I'm going to do that. Okay. Now the stank, the can grow. So obviously still it's still in the tin can in a crack key with let's get the lid off. There's the roots. But I'm now getting a few of these that are starting to come. I'm trying to get the light in it. I'm starting to get a few of these which are now coming ripe. There's a few runts in there that I'm gonna again pull off so they'll go. But if you move further up, hang on, sorry. These are the absolute top of it. Every time you lift a leaf, you're finding pods. Absolutely tons of them. So I cannot wait until all these come ripe. Uh, it's funny, um, it's Kevin, found, Kevin keeps going on, but he's having, having to sort of top his plans and that lot. But mine hasn't gone any further than that. It's like kind of stopped growing upwards. I just put everything into growing these pods, which is absolutely lovely. Top, top plant. So I hope they taste nice. Right, now quickly run down to the next 
greenhouse past all the yellow element so pumpkins sweet corn all that kind of crap hang on fat plug out right okay so this is number two greenhouse this had loads of tomatoes in it cucumber loads of chilies and um i actually got blight on my tomatoes inside the greenhouse the cucumber finished so i've got a bit of space now so I say just spaced everything out i've got two tomatoes left so there's a few there okay and i've also got this fella in the middle of my greenhouse i did a proper bruce lee yesterday when i walked into his web and ended up with him on my bloody face he's huge Look, try and get my it's about thumbnail size massive <laughs> Sorry for all the people that don't like spiders. Right, okay, in here, Thunder Mountain Longhorn. So obviously, really, really long pods. I love these, these, these make my chili flakes. You know, they're, they're fairly mild, but I can use them in anything that the kids eat kind of thing quite easily. Yeah, so, but fantastic long pods. Okay, Giant White Habanero is all plant and no pods. I've only got really tiny pods on these. So this has been a big disappointment this year, literally. It's, I mean, the plant's touching the roof, but there's just no pods. Um, I've got Lucky Seven, and this is um, a Habanero. And I'm starting to get some nice pods that are nice, nicely colouring up. So, and again, there's loads on the plant, so I'm kind of hoping that this Good weather lasts and these will ripen grow up a bit more right and one of my best plants body snatcher so as you can see i've got lots of pods but everywhere you go move leaves and there is pods everywhere on this and it helps that um so i'm trying to focus in on a few pods here just keep moving the moving moving leaves around and you just find pods everywhere so but yeah and it's quite handy that body snatcher tastes nice again got a problem with mice in this greenhouse so as you can see mouse trap and a chewed up body snatcher so trying to work it out from there but that's it guys really quick one and thank you Tina, the only person that's watching it live. <laughs> All right, so have a good day and hope the sun's shining where you are. Okay, cheers, guys.